Hi, my name is Mitch, and I'm the kids pastor here at Calvary, and here is your word for the day. Let's start off with this blunt statement. Religion sucks. Religious people suck. Some of you guys may have had that same thought before. Maybe something happened to you. Someone did something that made you hate religion. Maybe it was a rude church leader, or maybe it was even one of your family members that always beats up on you with what they learned in the Bible. For me, it was the church donut police. When I was a young kid in Montana, one of my favorite things about church was the donut holes the coffee ministry supplied because each Sunday I'd try to sneak in and get as many as I could. One of the women of the church proclaimed herself as the donut police and she would always try to chase me and my friends away. I remember one Sunday as we're running away with our uh, biggest haul and I heard her say that the kids should not be running and laughing in church. And one of the older men standing with her agreed. I then decided I didn't really care for church people. Then about a year ago, we were landscaping in our yard, and an older gentleman saw my family working and came over to help. Uh, uh, he helped out simply because he knew that we needed it. We later find out that he actually goes to Calvary, and it reminded me that I now love church people, especially those that come and serve here at Calvary. Jesus also shared his own story about religious people. We find it in Mark uh, chapter 12 today. We read Mark chapter 12, verse 1. It says, And he began to speak to them in parables. A man planted a vineyard and put a fence around it and dug a pit for the wine press and built a tower. And he leased it to tenants and went into another country. And when the season came, he sent a servant to the tenants to get from them some of the fruit of the vineyard. And they took him and they beat him. And they sent him away empty-handed. Again, he sent to them another servant, and they struck him on the head and treated him shamefully. And he sent another, and him they killed. And so with many others, some they beat and some they killed. He had still one other, a beloved son. Finally, he sent him to them, saying, They will respect my son. But those tenants said to one another, This is the heir, come, let us kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. They took him, and they killed him. They threw him out of the vineyard. And what will the owner of the vineyard do? He'll come and destroy the tenants and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read the scripture? Jesus asked. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. And this was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. And they were seeking to arrest him, but feared the people, for they perceived that he had told the parable against them. So they left him and went away. See, each day we all have a decision to make. Are we going to live out a life of love, compassion, and grace? Or are we going to look for all the faults in others? Are we going to allow others to serve Jesus and live in the freedom he gives us all? Or are we going to try to force others to make their lives the way that we want them to? Are we going to focus on being right and following rules? Or are we going to focus on the grace of Jesus and building a relationship with him and the people that he has placed in our lives? I guarantee you that today God is sending people and opportunities your way that will allow you to grow closer in your relationship with him and to show love to your neighbor. Don't choose religion. Don't choose to be religious. Instead, choose love and choose relationships. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. We will see you tomorrow.